We welcome Patrice O'Neill in studio. Big Mama Prods on Twitter. Yes. Talking a little bit about uh, the NBA Finals. I know it's uh, quickly becoming the past, but this LeBron James thing has a lot of people talking. Well, I mean, I don't think he point shaved. I think he, <laughs> I just think. Point shaves. Like I said, I think, uh, you know, I use a, a Justice League analogy, <laughs> which is if you're in if you're in the Super Friends and a meteor is getting ready to hit the Earth, mm -hmm. who, everybody in the Justice League turns and looks at who? Fucking Superman. <laughs> but then Superman goes, what, 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 what do I do? Well, hey, guys, I don't know what to... Superman, you're, like, uh -oh. you're the one who can fly. You're the one who can... Who can breathe in space? You're the one who can <laughs> fly damage. and destroy that thing. What the fuck are you talking about? You know, I just, I just want to be a good teammate and <laughs> and help, help do my part. No, there's no part to do. I'm Aquaman. I I only swim. I'm in the water here. By the time it gets to me, it's too late. I might be able to get 20,000 dolphins to jump as high as they can and try to hit the fucking thing. <laughs> hit the fucking thing. But uh, uh, shit. why are you putting this pressure on me? I'm only Superman. <laughs> but who put the pressure on him? It, we did. Not him? No. Look, man, people say that he called. He, I don't, he just accepts King James. I think he loves being him, but he doesn't want to be him. He wants to stand on the outside of himself and just watch mm. himself without dealing with the pressure of being him. It's, it's he's a, he's too physically he's the greatest player to ever live. There's no other player better than him physically. Six foot eight slash nine can handle, can jump, can body as big as a horse and uh, strong as a horse. But he just doesn't want he, it's, he's not mean. He's not mean enough. The Jordan used to do things to really demoralize people. Demoralize people. Mm -hmm. Laugh at him. Close his eyes when he shoots free throws. Uh, uh, fake you out with one hand like a fake pass. Larry Bird used to do that kind of shit. Magic, they, Isaiah, they all were mean. They were <laughs> mean. He's a nice guy, and he, he wanted his rings, but he doesn't understand, you know. One ring in Cleveland would have been 20 somewhere else. Oh, my God, yeah. Uh, you, you, you see the heroic, uh, godlike uh, treatment that uh, Dirk is getting. And, and not because he's a white guy. I mean, I, I rooted for him because he was a soldier. Stayed in Dallas, shitty Dallas, <laughs> seven-foot bum who only <laughs> shoots free throw. I mean, shoots outside three jump pointers. shots, three-pointers, <laughs> right. who still does that. Yeah. So if he, he's been able to do it consistently. This motherfucker's not a force of nature. He's a, <laughs> he's still the same Dirk he always was. And it calls him a caveman. He, he, look like, he looks like he, a big he looks caveman. Like a caveman. Yeah, caveman he's a, face. You know, Dirk, just, just a normal, you know, that, that fucking, I'm super humble guy who is starting to make me sick. This, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Derrick Rose is that. I don't even think my mother. It's like, sh suck a dick. You know, I love my mom too, nigga. I love my mom too. Everybody loves their mom. That you're this humble thing. So what do you think about winning the game? I'm just happy that you know I'm, I love my teammates and I love my mom. Like Dirk is, you know, he he was in he was in I don't want to enjoy it mode. Yeah. So much that when he won, he didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had to walk away. <laughs> <laughs> and for a little while, shake and, it off. And when they was teasing him about him coughing and shit, and he's like, they're just childish. It's like, wh what what happened? It, this is my question for... for uh, 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 <laughs> this is my question for life. Mm. What, what, now, can we say, are we retiring the phrase sticks and stones? <laughs> break my bones and names will never hurt. Is that now it seems, officially? Uh, it seems like we are. I think can you're no right. One, can no like one are. be, can, is, it, is it legal for me to say I endorse hate speech? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I, I, I want I, hate speech. Yes. Like, why can't I hate you in speech? Exactly. Why? I don't understand. I don't either. Not how in this much, country. How avarice can any, can, look it. You know who, how much money it take me to go? Fuck you, motherfucker! <laughs> to everybody, five million. Yeah, Thank five million is enough to tell. I to suck my, my dick. Done. So obviously you're getting into the Tracy Morgan thing. 
I'm getting into everything. It's all connecting. It's, That's yeah, what I was yeah, trying yeah. to say. It's, it's all around all us. It's all connected. But the Tracy Morgan thing is the big one today. Well, see, my thing with Tracy is this. Um, I, I, look, I, you know, I don't fall for no banana and no tailpipe. I don't listen <laughs> to no, anybody that says it. I believe the opposite. I try to make the opposite opinion right away. Yep. Tracy's been that a long time. Tracy's been frivolous with his performances a long time. He say some ill shit. <laughs> Not just fucking gay and shit. But here's what he's doing now. As simple as this, man. Mm -hmm. the, the game we're in is like jail. You gotta you gotta be there's no rogue, lonely uh, gunslinger guy in Hollywood. There's no I do it myself and nobody fucks with me. Do it my way. My way. Help. It ain't none of that. You got to yeah. be affiliated. Like, if you go to prison, hmm. you can't go in there and go, hey, I'm just going to read gun my gun books and, you know, I'm just going to chill out. You got to join something. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't join something, the guy's going to find out. So who you who you affiliate with? Well, I'm just chilling out. I'm just hanging. Uh, I'm my well, own person. I'm going to rape you. Because <laughs> you, <have, laughs> you, no, you have no affiliations, my friend. Right. You, you're not down with a cartel. So... What Tracy, I mean, this is conjecture, but Tracy's just paying what he owe. You, it's like um, the Godfather. The guy goes, Godfather. And he goes, well, you never even fucking say hi to me. Yeah. But you know what? Here's my deal. I'll do what you want. And when I need you, I'm gonna, just going to come yeah. get what I need. And he goes, you hear this? Knock on the door. And it's like, you got to pay me back. Yeah. Tracy owes a lot of people his career. Because why do you think he could say, now trust me, people that know Tracy, he says some ill shit yeah. that he could get in trouble like he is for every day. <laughs> yeah. This time around, he says something and they said, oh, here's a, here's a good time. Tracy? Yeah, what? What's up? Yeah, you know, you're in, you're in deep shit. We're going to make you apologize, but you, you owe. And the fear that guy, that when you owe, is that they're going to take everything from you. Mm -hmm. So if... If they didn't make you, they can't really break you. And you see, I say they. It's, it's the cartels, man. You, you do not, look at, gay people I, I know have exactly a powerful cartel. I affiliate myself with Jews, low level to mid level Jews. Cause they, they deal in money. They, you, you pay them dough. You, 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 here's your 10. Can I have a little, can I do my thing over here? Yeah. Pay you this. I'm not, I'm not big enough to get in big trouble, from, you know. <laughs> so is it possible that I can just do this? Here's your dough. Mm -hmm. And the thing I like about Jews, dealing with them as a cartel, is they don't want you to be Jewish. They, you don't have to join. You don't have to give anything but what you owe. Mm -hmm. You don't have to fucking, <laughs> you know, you don't have to fucking go to the parties. <laughs> you don't have to put on the yarmulke. You don't have to do it. No. Mm -hmm. So it's a very fair thing. A lot of these cartels, man, you got to be that. Got to be in with so, them. And, you got and to believe, be that. And believe they, everything they believe in. You got, yes. Don't speak ill of them. Yep. Yep. And And the thing is. You know, Tr Tracy has to pay with the owe. And I knew that when mm -hmm. Tina Fey turned on him. Tina Fey uh, has been his great benefactor right, for many years. Sure. So this one thing has turned the tides of Tracy's career, meaning it's it's made him public enemy number one. When I heard this story pass one day, I said, Tracy's the new spokesman for gay shit now. <laughs> well, we, and that's exactly We said yesterday, happened. Patrice, that they grab you as a hostage. You now, don't have he, to be a hostage. But he's a hostage to Glad right now, and yeah. Glad will let Tracy know when they're done with him. They're, they're not ever going to be done with him because it, it, it's p power, it, it's corruptible, man. Like, when a bully takes your money, he don't go, thank you, I just needed it today. He keeps going. It, it, Tracy, right. so Tracy now, so had, I don't know how much money he got in the bank, oh, but I would think it's enough to say no. Leave Say, me alone. Fuck you. And he, but he sets himself up um, where Tracy doesn't have. Like, if I'm saying this, I'll I'll hear from Tracy. Meaning, yo, don't talk shit about. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Like, don't. <laughs> I'm I'm on your side. I know what you're going through. But I I made a decision. That's why people go, well, why Patrice isn't? I don't want to owe that much. Mm -hmm. I don't. Because <laughs> there's people that count on me to have. A, 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 like a revolutionary attitude sometimes just where I argue. Yeah. So I let a lot of people down 
if I put myself in a position to have to f flop around on my belly. You have to be a spokesperson See, like that, or right. That's why I talk so much because I want people to understand what I'm saying. <laughs> now, if I talk about gays and talk about anything I have a problem with, I'm going to make sure if they're going to end my career, you know that it's it's a it's a muscle move that is unfair. That is not just because Tracy just goes faggots, 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 and more faggots. And if my son was a faggot, and then he, and then you go, Tracy, what the fuck? He didn't say nothing to apologize for. Mm -hmm. He, what are you apologizing for? Yeah, yeah. you were doing your act, but he's on been, a comedy stage. But the people who make you owe, they go, where this guy is setting himself up to owe us big, because <laughs> we're allowing him to feel himself. I'm going to pull my, stu my stomach out. I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to be drunk. I'm going to fucking get DUIs. I'm going to fall downstairs. <laughs> I'm going to get a kidney from a bitch and leave her. I'm going to do all kind of shit. Holy shit. I'm going to do all yeah. kind of shit. Yeah. And then I'm, I feel like I'm invincible. Then I do something that I do all the time. Faggots. Faggots. And now, oh, his benefactor. Oh, Tracy. <laughs> we're, we're, we're disgusted with him <laughs> and now they pick him up by the fucking hem of his neck and the back of his drawers and toss him out uh, into every gay thing <laughs> tracy's from the hood yeah yeah he doesn't want to be dealing with tracy's all from the hood you understand yeah you, you're gonna get to, you're now the new from a guy who just goes faggots to the understanding, delicious spokesman for gayness. <laughs> you got to watch these motherfuckers. Watch TV and see the trends. There's a commercial I hate so much. I am a, a student of commercials, by I, the way. I hate this commercial so much. I don't know how to approach how much I hate it. Mm. Because gay also means happy. Sure does. Now, we can play that game, <clears throat> but gay does mean happy. Uh, homosexuals have commandeered the word gay yeah. into where it's not happy anymore. Because there's a commercial because the the boss of the Phoenix Suns came out the closet. The mm. boss of the Phoenix Suns is gay. And they do a commercial where they're playing basketball and the guy's like, hey, man, you suck. Yep. Hey, man, you ain't nothing. Hey, man, you ain't got no jump shot. And then one guy goes, yeah, your moves are gay. Whoa. Oh, yeah, 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 yep. <laughs> and then he has some of the Phoenix Suns are the spokesman. Like, hey, man, that's not cool to say nah. that. Gay is... What? They don't believe that. We Motherfucker, so now... Right. No. Fucking moms. Like, look, here's what, here's what we all let happen. We all, we all let context be destroyed. Yeah. Context is gone. And that was... I can't gone. slip up. I can't... Say nothing. You can't understand what you don't feel me. You don't feel what I'm saying. Look, what he did, I I can't go. Oh, I can defend that. But I will say this. Here's what. Here's what. What happens with with Tracy? And here's what can happen. And, you know, I'm, I believe in conspiracies, man. Mm -hmm. It just sets people up who want to control everyone, right? Where you go, okay, Tracy. You go, a guy like Tracy, he isn't qualified. To have an opinion, this having an opinion, it should be in the hands of people who are qualified intellectually. <laughs> so guys like him, if he's not, if he don't have a, a degree, if you don't, they, they'll yeah. start making language elite where you can't, you can't have an opinion. But I say Tracy can be as ignorant, as fucked up as he wants to be, yeah, because I want to be able to communicate. And if I'm fucked up, let me be fucked up. But I support anything as long as you're not hitting me and robbing me right hate speech why can't i hate you <clears throat> yeah. why the fuck but see the dilemma in my head is this you back in the 1910s <laughs> eight-year-old kids worked in the coal mine or whatever <laughs> yeah and god people back then thought that it that it uh built character yeah, yeah but then we go up to our age where our parents hit us and now we go, oh, that, that built character when you hit it. So I'm saying, the point I'm making is maybe I'm antiquated. Maybe I'm thinking, oh, because I don't think kids should work in coal mines. Yeah. But I do think kids could, should get hit. 
But now you can't even tease kids in school. It's, it's no. bully, bullying and bullying. Very important. So yeah. maybe it's right. Maybe the way the world's going is right. Maybe no, no bullying. No, because my, 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 my step kid was getting bullied in school. My instinct was. Yeah, hey, you know, tell her to ball a fucking fist up and knock this <laughs> yeah, other bitch in her fucking teeth. That's what that's what we heard. <laughs> My, her mother goes to the school, tells the principal, no more bullying, no more bullying, because yeah. bullying is gone now. But is it right? Is it wrong? I don't know what's going on. So maybe, maybe being against it is the wrong thing. Maybe being anti the world becoming. I saw. I'm in BJ's. I saw a box. A, a kitchen toy kitchen a boy was on the front <laughs> I, wanted to, I, I wanted to scream at somebody there's a little sissy on the box on the toe on the fucking easy bake oven box yeah, there's a boy you know what? I think we're becoming our parents. What the fuck? You you're can't right. You can't wrap your head around Come something on. like that. He's you can't wrap your head right. You can't wrap your head around so that. So you can't even be angry. You can't quit. Look, but someone has decided that's okay now in this society that, to so, put the boy on damn. that box. Them. Like we answer into a them. Yeah. That's I, not even. We don't even know. And we're not part of them. And that's no. That's, it's, that's, that's our them. problem. We are part of the them. The them is the collective. Sure. But, who's who's Tracy? Who's LeBron apologized to? Hey. When they wake up, man, they're gonna be them. They're yeah, gonna just be them. Bubba. When, when they when look, I, when they wake up in the morning, you know. So LeBron, when you said that, were you saying that you're better than people? Oh, man. He should he should look up in the sky for a second and go, yeah, 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 yeah. Because let's be honest, I am. Yes, I am. I am. Life compared to them, yes, I'm, I'm better, better than, than them. them. Yeah, I'm 25 and worth zillions of dollars <laughs> for doing something that people are right now in the snow right now they moved out they shovel pavement and they they built a a hole in the wall and they're practicing shooting just to be what i actually am so <laughs> yeah. how about this if i'm not liked how about everybody suck my dick <laughs> I got a good account. You can't get my dough. I got some gold buried somewhere. Y'all can suck my dick. You can talk about my mama, too. I don't give a fuck. I'm six foot eight. My God dick is damn. as long as a goddamn robot. <laughs> I probably get my I probably get my dick sucked in front of my wife. There's nothing she could do because she's a fucking loser. He, but he backed off from his statement. Yeah, he should have went all in. Of course he, he did. did. No, I know. I understand. Of course I, he backed up from his statement. I like this a lot. I like it a lot because I... It's easy just to say that Tracy should be able to say whatever he wants on a comedy stage, but you you really fucking painted the big picture here today, Dude, sir. Dude, it's, it's... We this, all think that, obviously. This business is the beast. Yeah. And it eats everybody and shits them out. But here's what's funny about the beast. It's a never-ending line of people who want to get in the mouth and get <laughs> chewed up and shit out. Why is that? It's because you, when you get in the belly... Yeah. You get $2 million a week. <laughs> and when you get shit out, you, you're a pile back there. And you have, the, you have the option to go get back in line and wait <laughs> to go get back in the beast and get eaten and this shit out. Fucker is and we line hilarious. up. You are fucking hilarious I and wanna, profound. I want to find where it's just a couple of dollars. Just give me. I, wanna, I just want a couple of mil. And you know, I, yeah. look, what part of the beast do you want to be in? Kind of in the esophagus? I'm not even. Let me you, tell don't you, to, you don't want to be in the belly, right? Let me tell you something. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't even get out. to the beast yet because okay. I'm 20 years. Yeah. The be See, when the beast pick you up to put you in your mouth, you you shine in. You, people see you. Sometimes, see what 15 minutes of fame is? The beast goes, ooh, throws, throws somebody down. And and gets that's they that was reality people. Yeah, yeah. And but th and this but one people was, saw him in front of the mouth. This one was a, a, a athlete that had one good year, <laughs> yeah. and they threw him. A, now you see, ooh, that looks like a delicious young thing there. <laughs> Eat, chew. But that's why I love Charlie Sheen so much. He was in the belly. When you make it two million a week, doing anything, you're in the absolute belly. And for that fucker to betray his position in the belly, to 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 actually give the beast. Indigestion <laughs> was was spectacular. I, he was a martyr, but and, and Mel Gibson too. Mel Gibson. Yeah, Mel Gibson. He um, he he, he could have been the beast. He was so big. Yeah. And they turned on him. 
You know what I'm saying? So you anybody that gets that deep and turns on the beast, man, you 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 gotta root for him, no matter what, because because they're martyrs, because no one's gonna stand up for him. And then Hollywood, they tell you who to hate. Like when they rose up against him, not be on Hangover Two, when 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 uh, Mike, the, the movie was about trannies. Fucking getting fucking people in the ass, <laughs> drugs, <laughs> death, and Mike Tyson who got a rape conviction, and you motherfuckers said, decide to gang up on Mel Gibson. Say you can't be in this. He can't play a tattoo artist in the Hangover too. That's pretty yeah. amazing. Come on, man. That's not. It's not hypocrisy, because that means that's that's a human thing. It's it's something else. It's a cartel. It's somebody owing somebody the favor. I was close. I was I was hooked in with the Spike Lee cartel. Mm -hmm. He had his own baby cartel that he's connected, but you can be he's big enough for you to be connected to him, <laughs> but he's connected to somebody else. And and he asked me for a favor, and I said I can't. Mm. Gone off with the head. What was the favor? You don't talk Jesus. about it. No, no, he um he was and look, he put the most money in my pocket I ever seen in my life up to that point. He put me in a couple of movies, mm -hmm. voiceovers. He had he had access to a lot of things and threw me just threw me in. That movie I did, um, the twenty fifth hour. Yeah, I didn't. I really didn't audition for that. He said, "Hey man, you a Celtics fan, ain't you?" I said, yeah, "Man, I'm from Boston." He goes, "All right, you got it. You got the dig." Like he saw my comedy, <laughs> liked me, sat me down. Yeah, he said, "You're in." He just, "You're in." Put me in this movie. Was really nice to me. Uh, put me in voiceover commercials and all type of shit. I was seeing money I never seen before. <laughs> and he asked me. It was uh, it was some some gig with uh, like Showtime. Something happened with Showtime, but they did me real dirty. But he was doing this show this movie with Showtime, and I said, man, I said I can do the part. I, I don't want to come read. But I did it through my agents. I did the right thing. Uh -huh. He just bypassed my agents, everybody else. He called me personally and said, come come do this. And I go, well, I, how can I, what am I do? Just say fuck my agents and fuck people that I, I have a business with. If I do that, that destroys my entire system. I yeah. feel like I should have a system like you have a system. I, I can't. He said, I, right. that was it. Wow. Damn. That was it. And that's how it is. Now, I only lost what I lost. I didn't lose fame, glory, and everything. I only lost some some money. Yeah. But, you know, they got motherfuckers. You lose everything. But, see, it's everything that you want. You want shine. You want to. <laughs> you. I, I sat twice up on the front row at MSG. My girl went with me. Went with me uh, twi I think it's twice or once. It's so intoxicating when you're. <laughs> In the front row, you're looking around at who else you is have there. You have to right? move your feet because you might trip the player. <laughs> <laughs> when they threaten to take that away, you get scared. Mm. Tracy got front row seats at MSG, man. Wherever he goes, people are screaming. Wherever he go, he gets right in. And somehow, you know, if you fall from where he is, you fall way down. <laughs> yeah. Do we yeah. do we talk about Dane Cook anymore? <laughs> Dane could still sell out uh, any theater, any 5,000-seat theater. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it ain't Dane Cook Day no more, you, it seems like he's done, doesn't it? It seems like he's done. He's not done. No. But it's just not his day because he had a favor he didn't pay back. You think that's it? Or, Dude, or just people Will Smith kinda... has been famous <laughs> forever. For 15 <laughs> years. Probably longer. 15 uh, years. Fresh yeah. Prince is pushing 20 years ago. He he does what he's supposed to do. And I'm not saying he whatever. I'm just saying mm -hmm. you don't you just don't do seven pounds. Can I can, <laughs> Patrice, stay on top? Let me play the other side of that because I'm sure a couple Holy people would say this. Shit. Uh, when the, a few people would say it's because he's that talented. Nobody's that fucking talented. Let that's, me tell you something. That's what I thought you were saying. And honestly, I, believe, Let me tell you I, I agree with you. No. No no one person is that talented. know me, and I'm not being a fucking asshole when I'm saying this. There's no way I shouldn't be bigger than I am. There's just no way that... We all say it. Joe Coy is selling out shit, and I'm not. Right. And I like Joe. I like Joe. But Joe is... Joe ain't me. Mm -hmm. Joe ain't Nick DiPaolo. Joe ain't... Everybody that did tough crowd, right? Gangsters, we should be out in the in the, in the public eye. But you know why? Mm. 
Yeah. Nick says goo gobbler, man. Yeah. Nick will say goo gobbler in a minute. Even when Nick's trying to be good, he, he can't, can't help himself. Because he's, he's gangster, man. Yeah, yeah. I try. I swear to God I try. But you just go, what? Like, I, I, the first thing I think is, please, God, let Tina Fey and Wanda Sykes chastise me over some <laughs> shit I said. And I got to apologize to who, motherfucker? I'll die first, nigga. Yeah. Like, for real. I don't motherfuckers think I be bullshitting, man. I like I I, I, I I try, but I'm like, I don't want to put myself in a spot to where I'm balanced. Like I'm telling you, I, I sit I sit in my house every day and I and I I, I appreciate my ceiling fan, man. Because one day somebody gonna try to take it, and I gotta look at it and know that someday somebody gonna try to take my ceiling fan. And I and I all I got to do is, you know, uh, you know, as hopefully I have a good woman and, it's, and she is. But I'm saying hopefully we have a good woman mm -hmm. that when when the shit hits the fan, she's going to be there. Or you're going to have people that's going to be there that if somebody one day says, we're going to take this big mouth anthem. We're fed up with him. Yeah. We're fed up with you. We're going to take your shit. And you're sitting there going, wait, I own my house. No, you don't. We own it. We own everything. Mm -hmm. And that you have a place to go that. You know, you, 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 where you could park your Shelby. Yeah. You, you feel me? Yeah. So, look, I've been, t I've tasted little parts of what success is. I've tasted it. It's, 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 it's good. It's, it's deliciously, <laughs> you, you get drunk <laughs> off of it. Uh huh. But, you know, Tracy, I don't know how much money he got, but he, he should, he should, uh, he should be happy with the money yeah. he's got. What I'm, he, he should. What I'm getting from you, though, is it's not a fear that's too easy to say of 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 success you don't want to put yourself in a position where you can fall hard and hurt yourself and you and owe but you owe and the godfather all the, luckily what he owed was fix my son up he got yeah, shot yeah. and you go Ooh. but when you hear the knock on your door and he goes i need you to do me a favor <laughs> you're going to you're going to be at the a dinner with the president, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Or I'm, you're going to be at a dinner with somebody I want dead. Right. I want you to put this pill in his drink. Oof. Uh, I, 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 I don't. Uh, well, see. Well, that. what you owe is we're going to kill your whole family. I told you. <laughs> oh, shit. I want my favor. So you do that, and then just you'll get caught and maybe go to jail. But your wife and kids, we won't blow the whole house up. But you owe us. And that's why you're in, you're in my debt. When you get to a certain, see, I, I deal with low to middle level Jews in my career. Mm -hmm. Okay. We talk, we talk shit. But if I up, get upgraded to the next level, okay, say I, I get a show on TV, say it's not, it's not too popular, mm -hmm. but they keep, they keep it on for me until it gets popular. A favor? I owe. I fucking owe something. All right, Patrice, we need you to do a big favor. And I'm and I'm intoxicated. I'm I'm in the front row. Everybody's like, Patrice, what's happening, baby? All the girls and shit. Oh, I love fat men. Yeah, I know you do, bitch. Hey, listen, I got dough for everybody. I'm making it rain. I'm fuck I got a fifty dollar dollar brick. I'm throwing money in the air. I'm getting my dick sucked. I'm driving in a four million dollar three do six door car. I'm driving a six door Porsche. Faggots. Excuse me, I didn't mean it like get fucked in the ass, people, but <laughs> pussy motherfuckers. You know, I'm the shit. <laughs> yeah. And then and then Patrice O'Neill, the shit, can't get a fucking job. Let me tell you something, when it when it rains, it pours. Punk comedians are tweeting vicious shit against Ooh. Tracy. Punk motherfuckers. Yeah. That yeah. Have no, would never raise their fucking mouth against Tracy. Scared of him physically, scared of who he <laughs> hangs with, scared of his fucking position. Never say no shit to Tracy. They're tweeting shitty Tracy comments. Cause yeah. they, cause the word is out. That's how far it'll take you down. Where middle act comics are, are have the Balls to speak up against Tracy. And that's because the word is out. The word's out. Because I know great... these motherfuckers are pussies, man. Nobody got balls to stand up to Mel Gibson. Braveheart, fucking Passion of the Christ, all the fucking Lethal Weapon movies, all the fucking M Mad Max movies. You think 
Fucking Zach Galifianakis on his own <laughs> said, fuck Mel Gibson. <laughs> he got permission. You're That's right, this business. Man. Jesus Christ. That's this business. Motherfuckers think the motherfucker. You think I'm fucking playing? And the, and those middle and those middle com, uh, comics, they just yeah, they just waited until Who the coast the was, fuck is gonna the coast stand was up clear. Exactly. Who's gonna stand up against Tracy? Those are people that hated Tracy and Can they I? think now he's a, he's done. And now I'm gonna talk shit on Twitter about Tracy Morgan. Can I say that I have to say we're I'm proud to say that we jumped right on the Tracy should be able to do what he did bandwagon. And I want to say that today. Yeah, it sounds like we're self serving, but it's like that is the thing to do. Why you don't wait for other people and get and and then finally either decide to or not to? What is, what are you feeling in your heart and go with it immediately? But it's not that easy. I know that's it's a, not. That's a human level. That's why mm -hmm. me and, and and Jimmy we yell and scream on a daily basis here because it's really fucking frustrating to be in this position. It's like why isn't it every comic coming out and going? Yeah, he should be able to do this on a comedy stage. And they got people who supported him. Yeah. Then flipped it. Yep. Who yeah. Knows? Tracy should be able to say, oh, no, wait, I read it. No. You know who? Yeah. I know. Should I, I want to say the name. I, well, I, I well, do you know too. What? Chris Rock. It was he Chris said, Rock. I was shocked said, by that. He said, boom, boom. He, he immediately went to defending him. Then he went immediately to saying, fuck he you. He turned it around. But it's, it, this In thing, a day. It has nothing to do with all the context. Fuck the context because anything I say or you say, they can flip it around and yeah. use it against you. Well, they have, so but, we but know that. I too. should be able to say anything I fucking want. Look, I should be able to say something about gays. Look, I I said something on a podcast I did a long time ago, mm -hmm. or, or, the, or my my whatever whatever they called it, that little show I would do. And I and I I was playing the president, the the pre, the president, and I go, <clears throat> why is being gay a preference? And tying a bitch up and peeing on her, a fetish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why is who I decide to fuck some type of profound fight? Mm -hmm. I just want to have that discussion. Because I'm here to say, look, it's not about love. Because I can go, man, I love you, man. I love you too, man. Brotherly. Right. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love a man. But it ain't gay until I'm fucking you. <laughs> I love my dog. <laughs> I love my dog. That's but so it's not bestiality yeah. unless I'm fucking my dog. Till you start fucking. So if I fucking have a crush on you and I never tell you, I'm not gay. Right. I'm just. And, and in fact, we invented a thing called man crush that says a heterosexual man who looks at another man with some type of reverence, but he's not fucking him. Yeah. Why can't you talk about this situation? What do you want? You know what? Define to me what it is. What are you asking for? To get married? No. No. What's coming out the closet? Coming out the closet so I can let everybody know and see, here's the thing. I don't give a fuck, but I'm saying, look, let's say I like tying bitches up and peeing on them. Right. <laughs> I want to be able to show everybody. By some type of flag, <laughs> some type of gesture that I want to. I'm tired of hiding that I like peeing on bitches. I'm tired. I want everybody to know because I don't want to live this way no more. I want you to know that I like to do that. And there are other people that like to that do it too. Other people like to do it. And I want to get together with those people and share our experiences. And I want to fight for our right to pee right. on each other. And I want to fight to get married to a person under the guise that I like. Peeing on somebody. <laughs> now, if I'm saying some fucked up shit, please talk to me. Mm. Make me see different. Because I don't give a fuck. Be gay. But it's the it's forcing me to... I can't say nothing. I can't say no, shit. You can't. And and no one will no one will have that conversation with you. You will be fucking chastised ostracized, and chastised. I'm ostracized homophobic. And, right i'm not homophobic right i'm not look at here's my stance on abortion mm -hmm. kill your baby if you want <laughs> right. but don't say it's your body bitch it ain't your body you're not special it's because god to science whatever you believe in just because you're the apartment building for the baby <laughs> doesn't make you special you're not special the entire create the entire baby process is special but you were chosen because whether by any mini money mo rock paper scissors a flip of the coin that's where the baby be is you but am i gonna fucking burn abortion clinic down no
Right. But I'm just saying, I have an opinion about it. I have a fucking opinion about it. And I'm not saying kill gays and gays can't. But I'm saying, what are you making me think? You're comparing black to gay? I can't not be black. What if I don't want to? I'm, I'm black. But people do say that there's no choice in being gay. Right. That they It doesn't matter. They can't stop it's, being gay. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's still something that you... You're telling me that you want me to accept your sexual orientation. That means everybody's sexual thing mm -hmm. should be accepted. Everybody who's in the bondage should be able to walk around tied up. Like, it, it, like <laughs> if, I'm t if, if, if a guy likes to tie up his wife, they should be able to walk around with handcuffs and a, and a big, a big uh, uh, a harpoon with handcuffs <laughs> yeah, and walk around because yeah. they want to express. With no one being shocked about it. With no one. Yeah. Now that's what I'm saying. But say what it is. Don't 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 make me go along with your agenda mm -hmm. based on it. People are mistaking opinion and discussion with hate and and uh, uh, telling people that you can go out and hurt these people. No, you just have an opinion on something and you want to openly discuss it, but you can't. You can in this society because it, because I have an opinion. See, it, it, legis legislating feelings is. I don't oh, man, want yeah. white people to like me if they don't mm -hmm. like. Don't force them. Don't force. The, I, <laughs> don't force. Don't don't make white people like me. <laughs> you know, but listen, I agree. Don't don't put your hands on me. Don't don't beat on me. Cause yeah. I, I'm not I'm not suggesting that. I'm only suggesting I have a theory about homosexuality. A theory. Yeah. I'm not homophobic. I don't have. I, I don't want them dead. They don't. Matter of fact, I live in New York City. I mean, you know, in the in the area. Yeah. G gayness doesn't fucking bother me. No. And for most don't guys, anybody. gayness doesn't bother them. Gay guys bother them. <laughs> gay women are fun. <laughs> you gay, baby? Good news. Yeah. You got a little bit of not gay in you? Because I want to just <laughs> be a part of yeah, that. Poke, maybe put my finger in your asshole, baby. But it's like, <laughs> it's like, can we talk about it without you saying I'm a fucking... I'm a anti this and a fucking that man. Stop! It's 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 scary. It's it's deflating. It's it's it, it makes it makes me furious, man. It makes me furious because you feel lonely and help. You feel helpless because mm -hmm. you know you have to deal with this shit to make it in this business. And I got in this business because I was a funny kid. Mm -hmm. And then I found out what comedy was, and it ain't funny. <laughs> and I'm like, it, it tricked me. It tricked me. I thought it was just fun and games and I get paid. It's everything you learn about the business that ain't the fun. It takes a little bit out of you because you to balance for me to be a good businessman. Holy shit. For me to be a good businessman, I have to take away from my innocence. Because mm -hmm. being a good businessman means you got to be an awful motherfucker. Yeah. You can't be loyal. You can't be good. to. You have to be able to chop heads, man. And it's sad because I want to have friends. Yeah, you just want to have fun and you yeah. just, he you just nailed it. When we're here from 6 to 10, this is unbelievable. This is this is the greatest thing that I you know, yeah, it's just the fun you could part. do. But everything around it is such a drag and it does start eating away at you and it, it, should, it, it shouldn't it, be like that. We don't need any fucking bosses, trust me. We know what the fuck we're doing. We don't at this point. We don't even need a, a company behind us because of the shit that comes with that. And you would love to not have a company Dude, behind you. Yeah, yeah, we joke about it, but you know, and people beat us up for this. But we're, we we're dead serious when we tell our listeners that when ten o'clock comes, even though we go past ten. But let's say when the show is officially over, we can't get out of here fast enough because we don't want to rot anymore. You stay around here long enough, it rots you. Because so, and people go, oh, that means you don't care about the show. No, you have no idea what the fuck happens it, when, as soon as this show ends. When you're dealing with, when you you have humanity, and you see that you're in a game where uh, humanity, you're an idiot for having uh, a, digni a dignity or a, in, mm. a, or, or, or just a, 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 a philosophy that you live by. An individuality. A, 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 a some, you're yeah. an idiot. Mm. Loyalty in this business. Oh, my God. You're a, if you're loyal to someone in this business, you're a fucking 
idiot. <laughs> Anything you do that makes you a decent person normally, mm -hmm. in theory, in show business, you look, and I'm, I'm fucked up. I talk a lot of shit, but I, I have nothing to fall back on. I've been doing this shit 20 years. Mm. I'm hoping I don't open my mouth enough where I can't do a gig in Utah for a couple of bucks <laughs> so I can fucking keep my ceiling fan turning on. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, that big crazy money, I, I'm, you know, people think, oh, he's miserable. I'm not. I'm just, it's scary, dude. It's scary. Good job, Patrice. I get that shakes when white people, old <laughs> white people say great job. I'm not. Good job, yeah, Patrice. You, you're supposed to hate me. Mm. I'm, I'm anti you. Now I'm in this party, this free sushi, free, you know, some pretty white girl is going, hi, yeah, 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 I saw your special, and you yeah. go, you idiot, you know, <laughs> but, you know, you can't do that shit, you gotta go, hello, how are you, and and, and that's, look at, ultimately, that's what Tracy did, Tracy thought it was all for free, he didn't understand, dude, that, that, it's not for free. Like I said, I, I use prison analogies and shit. If you go into prison, I'm telling you, you ever get locked up and say you, your, com your, your, your money ain't coming for a couple of days, your clothes ain't coming for, and you didn't eat for a couple of days, just don't eat. Because if somebody goes, hey, man, I, got a, I see you in trouble, man. I got some Twix and a bar of soap for you and some socks. Oh, hey, thanks. Oh, thanks, guy. Yeah, that's great. Three days later, <laughs> hey, man, I need 17 more socks. I need 17. Oh, I, I didn't tell you about the percentage. I need 12 Twix and one Snickers, and I need socks, drawers, and sneakers from you. Yeah, but you didn't tell me about that when you gave it to uh, me. Ah, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like yeah. American me, you get a knife in your asshole on a bag of rice. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the game. That is. It is what it is. See, but, but, but see, the perception, the last thing I'm going to say, a lot of people carry themselves in the, in the perception in which they think the business sees them. Hmm. So they have confidence when they think the business thinks they're the shit, and they have nothing when the business thinks they're nothing. So when I talk, <clears throat> of course people say, fuck that fat ass, oh, fuck it. And they'll be ready to go at me because their perception is I'm not big enough in the business to be scared of. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I earn my respect based on, on me. So I don't owe. So I can go back, back and forth. So if I say Tina Fey's name, I'm not calling out Tina Fey. Mm -hmm. That bitch is powerful. But I'm saying... F bow down and and say sorry to me for something you said but tracy's big problem he didn't mean what he said he just says things frivolously right and he had no defense for himself because he it, it came out with no meaning he didn't say it for a reason me if i say i don't like chinese people i don't say if i say hey this is there's my my issue with homosexuality talk to me motherfucker so I'll, yeah. I'll talk to you about it. And if you can convince, I'm a fair motherfucker. You convince me of what I'm saying is to be wrong. And I'll go, you know what? I'm sorry. Because I'm sorry comes from, it's like the bill collectors when they go, sorry, sir. We, wait, wait. Don't say you're sorry. You didn't you don't do mean nothing. It. And you, and you have you don't no, mean it. you don't even have an ability to be sorry. <laughs> you're doing what you're told to do. I made a statement and that I believe. If you don't believe what I say, let's talk about it. And if you can convince me I'm wrong, then I go, I apologize, man. You you made me see different. Right. That's what an apology is. Not, I'm sorry, I fucking said faggot 80 times, and you caught me. <laughs> when I, when uh, I have to deal with people on the phone and they start with that sorry shit, immediately I go, don't say sorry because you don't mean it. Let's get this. Let's, yeah, yeah. Let's understand each other. Sorry, sir. I'm I swear, sorry. Really? I go, no, you're not sorry. You're not you, you don't understand. Because if you're sorry, then you would see it my way, and, and then this would be the end of the conversation. Sorry, sir. That one drives me fucking nuts. I'm up. sorry. And, and I call him out every time now. Don't say sorry. Sorry. You're not sorry. You're doing your job. Yes. <clears throat> sorry what? What is, what is your... The way you're talking, though, it doesn't seem like you then have a goal or anywhere you want to be you, you're like a, a I, status you know quo He's you just want your ceiling I, fan I, I, I think wanna, Patrice like you're torn. in the wrong fucking business obviously it, it's 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 fucked up because here's what i want to do i'm gonna tell you what i love yeah. this is why yo wait wait I, wait, 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 wait before you answer that yeah i think uh what patrice is saying a lot of other people could understand in other businesses by the way oh yeah this yeah, is yeah, not just not the entertainment show, business that's why this is a great great hour with Patrice. There are people yeah. doing just regular office jobs that have to deal with a lot of this shit on a different yeah, level. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, cops. There's well, you co see the guy cops that fight against the, 
the the blue silence and yeah, they're yeah, like, right. oh, man, that don't why are you abusing this? Right. Why are you you know somebody driving around? He's like niggas and fuck you speaks and he's he's like why are you doing why are you doing this to these people? And he's like. <laughs> What are you fucking rookie? What are you a f what are you a homosexual Taylor? <laughs> what about just in the corporate world in, a, in an office? You see the guy. I'm talking to a lot of people right now. You see the guy that got the promotion over mm -hmm. you. You know you're better. Yep. But he was playing the fucking game. He did, simple as that. He, he did what he, he had played to do. those dumb things that you just don't want to do. And and you're an idiot. Yeah. For so, not for so not that doing game, it that way. Right, but right. you truly are an idiot because that's the game. You're yeah, in. You're fucked Those up are the by rules. Not, by not being what that other guy was. So you get. picked the game, but I didn't yeah. pick this game based on what I find out is. is I picked it on the fact that I I, you're a funny I, kid. I was a funny kid, and and what you you said is I, I, I my goal is to somehow have an ability to reach out to whoever wants to listen, and I get money for it mm -hmm. somehow. I don't know how to do that, which mm. is which is people who just agree or not agree, they, but they get to hear another side, and and I can, I don't have to worry about apologizing every five minutes. I don't have to worry about the police kicking. I all I have to do is worry about whether someone agrees with me or not, because I'm I'm not a frivolous guy. I don't just like say this to get effect. I believe it. It hurts. It well, it hurts the, your, my heart. What kind of job is that? Like what? Nothing. What do you? But do I that? found out like, in 2011. <laughs> I I'm 41. Yeah. I started when I was 22, and my dick got fully hard. Now I'm 41. I got to smack it a couple of times. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to be a pimp. Now I look at my girl. I go, hand me my pills, sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I you get tired uh, and, and it's like you, you know I I'm, I got one I got a couple of more years of boxing of yeah. fighting but I do want to be able to say something against the status quo without losing everything I have without losing everything but I you're have not, you're not really putting yourself in any position to lose anything you're you're well you let me ask you a question yeah. When when I come on a show, I've been what ten years? Yeah, fucking probably ten, eight. Do I give you good radio? No, fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck you. Of course you do. What I'm saying, of course, give you good radio. Mm -hmm. That's putting myself in a position to do well. That that's what I'm saying. I do the okay. work. So you do. All right. Uh, see, I just want to square that because elephant it's... in the room puts me in that position. Right, but. What doesn't put me in that position is I got a call from a guy. Uh, he'll 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 stay nameless. He goes, man, I got this role I want want you to do. But can you not be you, but be you? Hmm. I go, what are you? Fu I knew what he meant. But I want him to say it. So you're saying you think that you can get everything good out of me without getting no bad. <laughs> the reason you think I'm good is cuz of the bad part. It's mm -hmm. it's it's an entirety. So that's why it's like let's find a Patrice like I've seen breakdowns. I've been in there where uh I seen something for for radio in uh Dallas. We want a Patrice type. Patrice <laughs> O'Neill type. <laughs> yeah. Type. But they just don't they don't want to deal with my head issues. Like yeah. they want to deal with just the fact that I'm they, that I'm funny. People agree with what, what I would say, but they but it's it's too <sighs> whatever it, it, you know. No, but, I, but I'm saying I'm doing the work. I'm on the show, uh -huh. having the good people listen, and the people like you know when we're when we're doing it and the synergy and everything. But but then, but then it seems like all right. So you're doing the work. You're putting the work in. Yes. Then when the offer comes in to take it to the next level, mm -hmm. you need. Absolute Patrice perfection. Your mind has to look at this, study the offer, and be like, "I don't want any risks. I don't want to be a, in, indebted to anybody. I don't want no, this. no, no risk. And that doesn't risk is wrong. Yeah, and in, indebted doesn't exist. Indebted is wrong. Indebted is what I'm saying is debt is when you get something for free, but you owe. Uh -huh. Like so, hey man, here's a loan. Oh, I got the money, <laughs> but there's a something else. If I feel like Listen, this reward is worth what what and, and I put myself in a position where I am not going to have to go belly up mm -hmm. because my risk is this is my risk. I I know 
it's very difficult. Somehow I'm still in the business being who I am. <laughs> yeah. A giant nigga with a big mouth. <laughs> Not good. Okay. Somehow there's a market for that somewhere. Mm -hmm. But the market is, it, it's like the difference between you go to a party and you have uh, marijuana in your pocket or if you have heroin in your pocket. If you have marijuana, you go, hey, everybody, everybody, you smoke, want some, want some weed? People go, nah, I don't want none, but you can smoke it right here if you want. Don't bother me. <laughs> you go, I got some heroin. Motherfuckers go, I do it, but you don't fucking pull heroin out. <laughs> yeah. So basically what I'm saying is I'm, there's a market for me mm. with the people. But it's not a market for me with the 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 thing the the thing I I want it I want the risk the risk is I have an opinion that can be challenged by status quo and then I can fight that's my risk mm -hmm. why should my risk I'm not afraid of shit I'm it's it's the fact of dude. You deal with these people up here. Mm -hmm. They say things to you, and you got to keep your job. But a lot of the shit, it's a lot to do with the money and the and the things you have that you want to keep good. So you deal with a little bit. And I've dealt with some little shit here, and then I dealt with. But I go, you know what? Here's what I don't want to do. I don't want to. People go with the office. I go, man. I don't want to be on a show where I give eighteen hours of of my life. And I, I don't give half ass. I give my piece of me when mm -hmm. I'm doing stuff. And it possibly, they could use it or not, depending on how they feel. <laughs> I don't have the energy for that. So if I'm going to fight, I'm going to fight to be the HNIC. I'm going to fight to be able to say what the fuck I want to say and know it's going to be there. And, and that's what I want to fight for. But see, the risk is trying to be me in this business. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 my risk is this. My risk is opening my fucking mouth. It's risky. It's a risky thing. Yeah. So I'm not afraid of nothing. I just don't want to be at a party and somebody goes, Patrice, here, try this. What is it? Yeah, it'll, it'll make you feel better. I don't drink shit that makes me feel better, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Listen, um, the party's over for you. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> the party is over. So I want to go in knowing, look, man, my deal and this is why I mess with Jews. I make 10000 you get 1000 and a tip. Mm -hmm. And thank you. We eat, laugh. I want to make my money, say what I want. And as long as I'm making my money, you leave me alone. Are we square? Bam. Are we square? <laughs> Bam! Bam! <laughs> Just like the mob. You're a good earner, you live. Yeah. I just want to be a good earner. And say what the fuck I want to say. What else am I going to do? Yeah. I, I have fun on this show. We talk shit. Mm -hmm. That's what I do well. It's it's embarrassing to say. We've been trying for years to have you have your own radio show. And it, it's oh, just not happening. That's no. fucking, it's, it's just no. not it's fucking happening. We've yeah. thrown your name to these guys a million fucking and times. And they know. A million you, fucking times. You guys times. have an access to great comedians. And right? I don't... Of mm. course like great that. comedians. I, and I don't understand why they're not fucking biting. Because... I don't get it. You know why? They know... First of all, they don't want to come up with money for anybody. That's no. the first thing. Yeah. You know, but, 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 it, but it does Nick, cost a little bit. Nick, Nick you, they know who... Listen, they can't control you. When you don't have nothing... Mm -hmm. Look... They can't control you if yep. you, the, the way that you control a motherfucker that don't got nothing is you give them something. <laughs> and then you hold that something over their head. Right. It is what it is. And without, That's exactly it, man. Without wow. naming names, this, this place, Sirius XM, is filled with a lot of shitty shows that they pay very well. And then we come to them with, uh, hey, you know, there was a time they want to fill up this channel with some names and stuff. I'm like, but Patrice O'Neill is on. I swear to you, I'm not saying it because you're here. You're, uh, you're on the top of the fucking list. I've said it until I'm blue in the face. Not, uh, you know, nothing has happened. We almost had something going when we were just XM. Almost. It was mm -hmm. on its way, right? Yeah, Black Phillip was fun. And it was ready to yep. go to the next level, but it just never did. But here's the thing. But that wh whoever's, I, whoever's saying, well, isn't he talented? What you just said will tell you the thing. You have some really mundane motherfuckers walking around. And that, and, and Emma bringing the race, one racial aspect of it. This is the This is another thing. You can't be a mediocre black guy and and have a job you that's why i said when racism's over is when you could be m just mundane 
and have a job. Whether you hate Obama or not, he's a spectacular dude. He's like, you can't not watch him the way he walks, the way he is. So the hatred and vitriol motherfuckers have for him is based on his spectacularness. You can't have a normal, regular dude. I'm, look at man. For, for me to be on radio and make five hundred dollars a week, that's that's you know what kind of bargain that is. Somebody might go, man, you're crazy. You should do it, dude. I'm, mm -hmm. I shouldn't have to work this hard. How do you explain those fucking tr fat traffic bitches then? They got jobs and they're real mediocre. But, but, wait, but that's a TSA that's a job. Workers. That's that's the that's, that's a, a trick job, to do is put mediocre people in a power position, right? Because they are willing to subjugate you. Because they they're not elite. They don't have respect. That's why when you put a woman in certain power and weak people in power. They're the best people to have in power because they they get to look at you with confidence and a fucking, you know, you can carry a weapon on you and you can you could do things. You're on the red and they go, I'm going to make your life miserable because I suck. <laughs> That's why the media is going after LeBron. The, the, who's attacking LeBron? Short, bald nothings who are jealous of him. You give him a position where you can affect a, a powerhouse like him, and, mm -hmm. and they, uh, you think they're prepared for that? They're not. That, that, that's why mediocre people, they do that so they can control them. You know. But really, the, the, the only thing that scares me is, look, it, it, if somehow it rains some money, and I just could be comfortable that you know, my mom's was getting you know, sicker and sicker, and I, I can take care of her, mm -hmm. my woman get her shit, and I can pay and keep them ceiling fan. I'll fucking do some free shit at my house. Yeah. I'll go on the thing and just talk shit about. That's why I respect Alex Jones. This motherfucker is a soldier. I don't give a fuck if you don't like him or not. He is. He has the energy to f to do what he's doing. And and I would do that. If, but but dough is important. Yeah, yeah, uh, obviously. Dough you, is you, important. You, 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 you can't every be single homeless. Person alive. Right. Yeah. Jesus, that's yeah. what I'm saying. But 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 to make that funny money, dude. You know, you look at. Look, I go like this. I had an argument with somebody. I said, "How the fuck is Ellen DeGeneres? When did she become the moral compass?" <laughs> She's a bull. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. She's strapping on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And are you telling me a big mouth nigga ain't got no opportunity? Somehow, <laughs> they the people who make things happen, they can they can influence anybody's thought process. So I want to be in a position where I can just influence thought thinking without being attacked by a a, a cartel. That can just tell you you you're a fucking you're a homophobe or you're a or anti semite you're a racist you're this and you, uh, you hate women motherfucker so what <laughs> yeah I don't think you're ever gonna see that though unfortunately I mean it'd be great but that's you're talking about some kind of fucking paradise it's getting you're worse it's getting worse, worse. Ellen, De yeah. Ellen DeGeneres has to fucking suck fucking dick. You know, figuratively yeah, yeah. speaking. You know, she's horrified by the dick, but she's got to fucking get down and suck some dick to keep that position. That Why? Because she likes her fucking but $20 I, I million say, dollar mansion yeah, out there in Hollywood. Didn't say I wouldn't suck a dick, figuratively. Right. I've had <laughs> sucked a dick. We've all tapped. We've all sucked a dick. There's no way I haven't tapped. <laughs> but it's, 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 what I'm saying is, like, okay, years ago, they offered me like a hundred something thousand to do Celebrity Fit Club. Mm -hmm. I said, I would love to do that for the health and okay. the money, but it's not for the health or the money. Celebrity Fit Club are people who used to be relevant that became fat has mm -hmm. Now they are coming as a, they're presenting themselves as fat has under the lie of health because they all go back to yeah. being fat has <laughs> I said, I haven't even been a me yet. I can't do a fat has show. When I'm not a fat has-been. Well, you could just, it's like people go, man, just go in backwards, man. Take it in the ass. And then when things, <laughs> when things go your way, you can go, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. No, man. No. $2 million to CBS is ass wiping. My, it's oh, yeah. to do research. Right. On how to make $10 million. <laughs> it, it, it don't mean nothing. People like Charlie Sheen, $2 million. $2 million to Charlie's great. 
But two million to CBS is nothing. Mm -hmm. And and you think that you can hold these people hostage? They don't give a fuck because corporations kill us. Mm -hmm. They don't give a fuck. So I'm just trying to s find my place where I'm sitting over there and people go, oh, Patrice. Yeah, that's it. I can talk shit and whoever wants to listen, they listen and enjoy, you know, like my tweets. When I tweet, I try to tweet a nice tweet. I don't frivolously tweet. Oh, better tweet on this. I tweet shit. That <laughs> yeah, when you feel I tweet when I think right. it's necessary to tweet. I tweet when I when it's when I'm feeling tweetable. <laughs> <laughs> With that, it's Big Mama Prawns. Uh, we should go to break, man. That was uh, oh my god. Yeah, you summarized the whole fucking thing, man. Holy shit. That's a uh, wow. It's a yeah. life lesson right there today. The perspective. Remember.